Hey, what's up guys? Pokemon Freak here and we're back with another engineer guide. So we are going to try to move on to Town Hall 10 now. We haven't quite maxed out our Teslas, but we are going to max them out once we hit Town Hall 10. Right now, I'm just going to be putting down our x -Bowls. And as you guys can see here, I've been dropping trophies uh, to find good bases because I've been finding good bases at Bronze 1 and Silver 3. So we're just going to continue raiding on that and we'll be back as soon as we get more than enough to upgrade or to put down our second x -Bow. So we're pretty much done raiding. As you guys can see here, we got we found pretty good bases. We found them pretty quick, I want to say. We were just waiting for our troops to be done to upgrade before we could go in for raids. Uh, but we got a lot of loot, again, in uh, Bronze 1 and Silver 3. So we're just going to be putting down our second expo. And right now, there is an event going on for our heroes. So we could get a book of heroes. And I don't really want to sell it because it's only, it only gives us 50 gems. I have over 2,000 gems right now. So to me, the gems don't matter. I actually want to use the book because it's a lot more expensive to gem a queen than it is to sell the book. So right now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be wasting our Dark Elixir rune. And we're going to be upgrading our queen trying to get her up a few levels. So we're just going to be putting her down a few times as you guys can see here. And again we're going to put her down and now we're going to go claim that book from the event. And then we're going to again finish her up and put her down one more time. And as you guys can see we just leveled her up three levels so she's going to be going to level seven. And as for our minions, we still need to max them out before we move on to Town Hall 10. I believe they max out at level 5 at Town Hall 9, so we still got one more level to go. And we still do have a lot of Dark Elixir left over, so even if we put down our king, we are going to have a lot of it left over. So I think we are going to end up gemming our queen one more time so we could upgrade her once more. Um, so we could take her to level 8. Because again, there's nothing much we can do with th this Dark Elixir because our Lava Hounds are already maxed out, so we can't gem our minions. Um, so yeah, the, the only thing I can possibly think is gemming our queen and putting her down again as you guys can see there Um, so we don't quite have enough to upgrade our king now So we are gonna continue raiding so we could get a dark, enough dark elixir to upgrade our king So we'll be back. I think it's about time we move on to town hall 10 and uh, we don't quite have enough to upgrade our Town hall right now. So we are gonna be wasting a few more medals so we could get uh, two million five hundred thousand gold it's only 25 medals and as you guys can see we have over a thousand uh, so we are going to be putting down our town hall right now uh, we are going to be using the book of finish because there is an event right now going on to get another book of finish and we're going to be claiming that so we do have a lot of elixir and i think we're going to have more than enough to upgrade our laboratory and our spell factory uh but just in case we don't i'm gonna be putting down my spell factory first uh that way i could finish it and we could hold five spells because that's really important that we're able to hold more spells um so we're gonna be putting that down and we're gonna be finishing it and we do have more than enough to upgrade our laboratory so we're gonna be putting that down now and that's pretty much all we can do for now and i just realized i don't have a free builder uh to upgrade my king so i think we are gonna be jamming something uh so we're gonna see what we gem and i think we are going to be gemming our queen just so we could put down our king that way we could have at least one hero for war or something uh for whatever we need it so yeah because again expos we don't really need them um but a queen uh it's very important to this and actually i think it's the cheapest thing to gem so we're going to be gemming that and we're going to be upgrading our king and that's pretty much all we can do for now uh so we'll be back as soon as we're ready to do something else Alright guys, so we are going to be focusing on our offense a little bit right now. So what we're going to be upgrading next is our clan castle. That way we were able to hold the siege machine. And we are going to be working on our camps. That way we could hold uh, 240 troops. And we don't quite have enough to upgrade our clan castle or our camp. So right now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using up a few of our war medals. But we're not going to be buying the hammers because those are a bit too expensive for me. And we do have a lot of time in these engineer bases because I don't really spend most of my time in each one base specifically unless i'm really working on it so we are just going to be buying the elixir and the gold so we need five million for our camp and we need six million for our clan castle but since we had one million in our loot cart we got more than enough to upgrade our clan castle with just 50 war medals we just finished clan war and again it was i believe five times more clan war loot um so we are going to be putting down a camp because we got more than enough to upgrade a camp and as for the rest of the camps, again, we are going to be using the war medals. That way we can upgrade them really fast because we're not going to have enough time uh, to raid for that elixir. So yeah, we're just going to be using war medals for them. We are going to be using the hammer of fighting on our lava hounds because they do take 70,000 dark elixir to upgrade. And that's going to take a long time to raid for. So I'd rather not. And I'd just rather save myself some time and upgrade them with the hammer of fighting. 
um because with 70,000 we could probably upgrade our heroes twice and i'd much rather be upgrading our heroes uh than be waiting for our lava hound so yeah that's pretty much it for town hall 10 um there's nothing much we can do anymore besides upgrade our teslas to level 7 and we're just gonna leave them there and i think i am gonna stick around at town hall 10 with this account uh just to see how engineering works around here and we are gonna be starting the war just to see how much this base really weighs but other than that we're pretty much done our camps are maxed out our clan castles maxed out our laboratories maxed out our spell factories maxed out all that's left is really pumps collectors and our teslas but anyway guys we are gonna be starting the war right now just to see what this uh base brings in so our clan finally found a war as you guys can see here our number seven pk monster it doesn't have a lot of weight because our number six scott it has the weight of a max town hall eight so as you guys can see here uh this weighs less than a town hall eight uh probably maybe at a rush to mid town hall eight not really too sure yet uh but again it has level three lava hounds level six uh, balloons level 4 minions so i gotta say it's pretty good especially because it has max town hall 9 air defenses we are probably still gonna continue working on our teslas i'm not really too sure just yet um but yeah and our suicune that one weighs as much as a town hall 7 and as you guys know poke your mom the weight of it is below a town hall 7 as you guys can see here uh those walls are bothering me a bit so i am gonna be upgrading all of them to level 3 soon um just waiting on a free builder on that base but other than that it's looking pretty good and the last base we are going to be taking a look at is aids uh, i use aids mainly for war donations because as you guys know this is an old engineer base uh this is before we had to add everything um so basically i use it for war donations because it has level five dragons it has level three lava hounds it has level six balloons level five minions so it has a pretty good offense and i also need this base uh for defense purposes especially for our clan castle so yeah it's a good base to have around and on top of that it has well very low war weight so it still weighs as much as a town hall six so right now we're going to be taking a look at our mirrors or our opponent as you guys can see from our number seven down we had engineers so from their number seven down they have engineers uh well not exactly engineers because again this guy weighs a bit more than a town hall late and i'm not really too sure if pk monster weighs as much as this guy uh simply because they're mirrors because i could be wrong uh but yeah as you guys can see he has a town hall 10 um his air defenses are still pretty weak everything's still pretty weak in this base everything looks like it's still level one uh so yeah it looks a lot like the poker mom account except poker mom's barely going to town hall 10 uh that guy's already town hall 10 and as you guys can see this guy is almost the max town hall 8 so i'm assuming pk monster might be weighing more than the max town hall 8 uh but i'm not really too sure yet because that guy didn't have his uh walls max uh but again here's another engineer town hall 9 or rush town hall 9 whatever you guys want to call them uh but it looks like he could only make a max town hall 8 attack because again with those dragons uh but who knows if he has power potions or not that he's going to be using in war uh but yeah and for their final base as you guys can see it's a town hall 6 paired up with our aids account um so yeah this is our war matchup it looks like a fairly easy war uh there's still a chance we can tie this one because again uh their max town hall 10 or their town hall 10 could still use a power potion to um three star our number one and number our number two and as for their war stats it looks like they're 50 50 clan uh 50 percent losses 50 percent wins uh, just about so yeah guys this is a war matchup uh i gotta say engineering is still working pretty good i want to say that um it's still tipped in our favor because we have two town hall 10s um so we could easily three star the number one and two uh, but that's pretty much it guys if you guys like what you saw please hit that like button if you guys don't want to miss my next video please hit that subscribe button anyway guys pokemon freak out